Well, Disney and Marvel have a major problem, or should I say a Jonathan Majors problem. The big bad for Marvel's new Kang saga, Jonathan Majors, the actor, was found guilty of two out of four charges of domestic violence for assaulting his then-girlfriend following three days of deliberation in his New York trial. Majors was also found guilty of assault by recklessly causing physical injury as well as harassment. Now, Majors did not testify in his own defense and initially pleaded not guilty. Following the verdict, Disney Marvel reportedly dropped the actor, though no official statement has been made yet. This is set to cause issues in the up till a few films ago financial juggernaut that was the MCU. As the Hollywood Reporter wrote, before his March arrest, Majors was slated to be the key figure in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Disney-owned studio building its entire current story arc around Majors' Kang the Conqueror, their next big villain. The time traveler factored into this year's Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania as well as both seasons of Loki and was going to lead Avengers the Kang Dynasty slated for May 1st, 2026. But while some some were happy to see Majors was out at Marvel. Others were quick to compare how Majors was treated to a similar case of superhero shenanigans or something quite a bit more than that. Ezra Miller, who played The Flash in DC's Justice League films, was arrested last year on charges of abuse, grooming and kidnapping, yet his solo feature was still released in theaters, albeit to a middling reception. Some online viewed this as hypocritical. One user on X posted, cool, understandable, so how come Warner Brothers didn't fire Ezra Miller? All right. So what, should we just take the, the, the King stuff yeah, and Jonathan we'll come, Major okay, stuff we'll, we'll first? We'll come back to Ezra Miller in a minute. Um, yes, so this is uh, not, I, I would say not fantastic developments for Marvel because mm -hmm. they had really built him up. Jonathan Majors playing Kang the Conqueror, who, because now the Marvel Cinematic Universe in, is in, involves time travel and also multiple uh, universes, like di there's different versions of all the characters, and some characters can travel between these these dimensions. And Kang, in his various formats, was supposed to be the next big bad. So it's not even Jonathan Majors playing like one character; it's him playing like an infinite number of characters across the multiverse. Some of oh, which have figured in already. So they, you know, spoilers for the Ant third Ant Man movie. Like they killed off that one, but the idea is there's a million more of that guy on the way. Um, Am I? I, I'm not as um, yes. devoted as you are to these franchises. I'm not as knowledgeable as you are, but I, I find myself struggling to remember who jo has he already played a role in in these movies? So he was in he was in Ant Man, the third Ant Man movie, which you, you probably mm. didn't see, and he was in both <laughs> seasons of the Loki television show. So the okay. Loki television show is very, I would say, is very good, especially compared to most of the post things. Endgame stuff. And look, I will say this. So I think they should actually just move on, not just drop Jonathan Majors, but actually move on from this character. And he's, Loki, a bad, he's like a bad, he's a villain. He's, the, he's supposed to be the next big villain. Like okay. Thanos was the big villain. I see. And he was supposed to be the next kind of Thanos. But frankly, and again, spoil, stop watching if you've not seen the <laughs> second season of Loki and intend to. Um, the second season of Loki actually wraps up his character in a perfectly satisfying way. I, I don't think they necessarily planned it. I think they absolutely did think they were going to bring back other versions of this character. But they end season two of Loki in a way where like the threat of Kang is now well known to a team of two superheroes and powerful people, and they're like monitoring the situation and ready to stop in to prevent him from. Because the idea is that he's like a, he's like like the 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 timeline was being was being maintained so that he never comes into so this existence. This is why I gave up. But on now these. they're on top of it, so he doesn't. We don't have to deal with him the again. Time so they travel stuff him. is so lazy. Okay. It, 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 you know, it, it has gotten increasingly lazy. I will agree with that. I think they should pivot away from this. And mm -hmm. there is there's a character waiting in the wings. What the fans want. You know what I'm going to say, <laughs> Doctor Doom. It is time for Doctor Doom to enter the MCA, MCU, a famous antagonist of the Fast, uh, Fantastic Four and some other superheroes. Um, we, the fans, believe that Killian Murphy should play him. I'm sure you also have other, um, you know, let me know in the comments who your top choice is. This is, and I think even the plot line they wanted to adapt and have Kang be the villain in for these upcoming films is from the comics, actually a Victor Von Doom storyline. So yeah, when it, I Google Doctor Doom, Doom, there's pictures of Jonathan Majors that come up. So it sounds like people were already people are talking about like it's time to make this substitution. Okay, so I would say as a more casual viewer, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, there's a lot of very highly specific <laughs> knowledge on these subjects. I mean, I would just say it, it seemed like it would be easy to write him out because, frankly, yeah. I don't know him as a Marvel character at all. I know him from his other work, but I don't. I, 
to me, this has it would have absolutely no well, effect on my Well, he hasn't appeared in any of the major movies yet. Right. He was in the third Ant-Man movie. So do you think that that perhaps starts to explain why there was the choice to get rid of him, but not to get rid of Ezra Miller, who has been accused of a long list of diverse and serious things? So... Yes, it, I mean it is. It's a different company, okay. uh, right? Um, um, Ezra Miller's the, the DC He's universe. DC. Okay, that's helpful. Ezra to know. Miller is. Um, I, I mean, his character was like, not. I mean, I, he, the, the character was you know one. The Flash is one of the team of superheroes. But he had his, he so had a movie. The you know. So the, right. So they did do a movie all around. Even him. after the accusations, a full Flash movie, they, which wasn't bad. Were, like Jonathan, Ma we're in a lull right now. Like this all happened to Jonathan Majors. Basically, after they'd already filmed all the current stuff with Kang, and were planning to do more, so I, I don't, I don't know if the timeline for the Ezra Miller was like, you know what, let's just, let's just put this one out there, and I, I doubt they're going to make more stuff with him. But you think? Cause I the mean, they're abandoning that whole, that whole. Uh, I think all of those characters are. They're going to do re, re, they're, they're, they're not going to have Gal Gadot or Henry Cavill. So the, the Flash or, um, movie came out this year. Yeah. It came out this year. I know, but maybe they'd already made it. Okay, but they have scrapped. There's been stories about any number of other movies that they did the, the whole series or the whole movie, and they, Netflix just decides not to put it out. Or All right, whatever. then we can go this way. Ezra Miller got a pass because it's kind of like an intersectional queerness kind of stuff, and uh, and it's racism against Jonathan Majors. I mean, that is definitely the argument I'll that say people it. are making. I'll say the thing. <laughs> there you go. People, people are saying that um, Jonathan Majors uh, being accused of domestic, being as Miller was merely you know, engaged convicted in gender of, expression, Brianna. Well, they were both. They both have been charged, uh, accused of hitting women. Um, and the argument, I think, goes something like it, the the social context of Jonathan Majors doing so as a large black man is read differently as Ezra Miller doing so. When Ezra Miller does it, he, I, excuse me, they, they is just engaged in, you know, so gender-based it, it, performance. So it's been a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I, w I was trying to refresh my memory on all that he was, uh, they were, I'm sorry, what they were accused of. And... Miller was accused of choking a woman on video in a 2020 interview, uh, 2020 video that went viral. 2020, that happens. Movie comes out in 2023. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, there was the grooming accusations. There is a difference between uh, Jonathan Majors was just convicted. Right. In yes, court. yes. Yes. There's a difference between just accused and convicted. Yes. I, I think it was correct for Marvel to not do anything with the actor or the character until there was until a, conviction. You had a conviction. And I was looking, and I did not see any Ezra Miller convictions. Although I did see there were some. As of the article that was written a while ago, there were some pending charges out of an assault that I believe happened in Hawaii that just had not come to resolution yet. The Wikipedia page for this stuff is is, is very long, and um, and there's some there's some weird stuff here. But, like what? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna read this from this is from Wikipedia. So totally disregard if you think Wikipedia is all lies at all times. But um, uh, this is a relationship with. Tokata Iron Eyes, which is a is a person, um, according to a former resident of Miller, Ezra Miller had a farm in Vermont. Miller believed that people criticizing his relationship with this person, Iron Eyes, because she is an apocalyptic Native American spider goddess, who, along with Miller as Jesus Christ, will bring about an indigenous revolution. Miller allegedly refers to himself as a messiah to Native Americans. Miller does not have indigenous ancestry. Yeah, I mean, that's, look. Uh, okay, what's the the source for that is Vanity Fair. <laughs> that's, that's, Ezra that's Miller's Messiah legit. delusions inside the Flash stars dark spiral. Yeah, look, there's a mother and child that took out an order of protection against Miller, and again, that grain of salt. Yeah. No accusations yet. There's a woman in Germany that accused Miller of harassment. Um, there's the grooming and manipulation allegations. I think this was from Miller's time in Iceland. Uh, there's, and, and yeah. he has put out statements saying he's. They've been dealing with complex mental health issues, and that is what it is. Yeah, I'm right. I'm not swooping in here to try to uh, me too Ezra Miller, but I, I don't think you're wrong, frankly, to or or whoever was raising these comparisons. Um, I, I don't think that's unfair to wonder at the. I mean, it is again, it's two different companies. Yeah. So, and I also think that Jonathan Majors is probably you know he's out for Marvel, but he's probably not out for the count. There's many people who have been charged and convicted of domestic abuse in Hollywood who have yeah. come back. Sean Penn, very famously, uh, not just not just beat up an anonymous person, but actually Madonna, and his career doesn't seem to have suffered 
really yeah. meaningfully. Yeah, and we haven't really, you know, dealt with the substance of the accusation against um, yeah, sure. Majors, which was this, you know, domestic violence dispute. They did release recently some video footage um, of him and the then girlfriend kind of tussling in the street. It, it certainly didn't. And some people looked at it and said, "Oh, this acquits him because he's running away from her." Yeah. It certainly didn't. It, it, yes, he was in fact running from her at one point. That earlier, it 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 did look like there was. I mean, frankly, it looked like there was just an altercation between them, and it was a bad. But that doesn't mean he's not guilty. Sure. But. There was some audio that was going sort of viral over the weekend, um, in which he was engaged in. I, what I would describe as controlling mm -hmm. behavior, saying, I need you to treat me and uh, support me, back me up, like I'm Martin Luther King, like Coretta Scott backed up these other great men. Um, and, you know, it wasn't a good look, right. but is that a crime? No, no, but apparently enough evidence was adduced for this trial like to find that they... It looks to me like they physical with each other, but he's a well, he's very a imposing, yeah. strong um, person, so... So anyway, uh, but very interesting. It reminded me of the uh, departure from Rick and Morty, of the, the voice of Rick and Morty um, earlier this year. And people are saying this new season is one of the best seasons ever. It was fantastic. I just finished it. I watched the season finale last night. It was uh, fantastic, complete with a great Lost reference in the final episode. All right. Well, I have to finish it then myself, so maybe we can do another segment. <laughs> Oh, be still culture. my beating heart. <laughs> this has been the most fun uh, we've had on the show all day. More rising right after this.